All right. Hi, Elaine. So my Exhale family. All right, well, let's get started laying on our backs. Let's take a moment. Oh, how's everyone's body? Really good. Let's just start with the drawing our knees into the chest. Just give ourselves a nice squeeze, a little rock on that lower back. You're ready, grab the pinky to edge, find a nice happy baby pose. A gentle rock side to side. And when you're ready, wrap your right leg over your left, find a nice go cost in a for a moment. Pull those feet out and away. And keep the wrap of the legs, direct your knees over to the left, extend your gaze to the right. Bending the right arm a bit like a cactus. We'll come back to center, happy baby. And this time wrap your left leg over your right, go mukasana of the legs, pulling those feet out of the way. Keep the legs, just direct them over to the right. Extend the gaze to the left, maybe bending your left arm. A bit like a cactus or a football goal post. I like to keep my right hand, in this case, stacked on top of the left thigh, helping you draw the knee down. And slowly coming back to center, draw both knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Placing hands onto kneecaps, let's open and close those hips. Create a few circles in the sky, just getting into the hip mobility, finding that full range of motion. You're truly feeling that head of femur as it rotates in the socket of the hip. Take it in the opposite direction. Next breath, draw the knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Keep your hands on your kneecaps. Let's bring our knees to a tabletop today. And all we're gonna do is extend the right leg to your sky, point the foot. Take your hands, interlock the fingers, and draw them behind the crown of the head. Now slowly begin to lift the shoulders, neck, and head. Now what I want you to do is tilt your tailbone under. And all you're gonna do is lower your right leg to your mouth. The exhales draw back up to center. Inhaling to low. Exhales to lock. Rise. Two more. Inhale lower. Exhale rise. Last round. Inhale lower. Exhale to rise. Rebend your right knee. Extend the left leg to the sky. And keep that right knee at a, 90, at a tabletop so it's stacked right over the hip. On your inhale, lower the left leg. Exhales to rise. Inhales, we lower. Exhales to rise. Three more. Keep driving that navel towards the spine. Inhale, lower. Exhale to rise. Two more. Inhale to lower. Exhale to rise. Last round. Inhale to lower. Exhale to rise. Rebend the left knee. Draw both knees to your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Grabbing the backs of your thighs, rolling forward and back, meeting at a tabletop. Stacking our shoulders directly over our wrists, hips over the knees, plenty of room in between those gorgeous fingers. And those wrist creases are pointed forward. On your inhale, dropping belly rib cage, tilt tailbone up, gaze up. And on the exhale, tilt the tailbone under, drive the navel in. As you push off the mat, draw your gaze in. Inhaling to lower. Exhale, push off that mat, find your cat spine. Feel an opening in the upper back. Inhales to lower. Exhales, find that cat's on. Push off the mat. Envision your rhomboids right along the spine as you push into the mat, you're pulling them away from the spine. On the inhales, lower. Exhales, find your cat. 
Last round, inhale low. Exhale, find your cat. Meeting back in a neutral back, yogis flat back. We're doing a little bit of a core sequence here, and a little bit of a glute sequence. So extend your right leg to the back of the room. Flex a foot, the toe points are down. All you're gonna do is tap your right toes down to your mat, inhale the leg back up, then draw your right knee to your nose. Re-extend the right leg. Tap the toes, lift the leg, draw your right knee to your nose. Re-extend the leg. One more round like this. Tap the toes, lift the leg, draw your right knee to your nose. Re-extend the leg, pause. We're gonna add on, walk your left hand, still tense it on the mat about three inches in front of you. From here, you're gonna tap your right toes down, inhale, lift the left arm, right leg, draw left elbow to right knee. Re-extend arm and leg. Tap hand, tap toes. Inhale, arm and leg rise. Draw elbow to knee. Two more, extend the limbs. Tap toes and hand. Inhale, arm up and leg. Then draw elbow to knee. Last round, extend arm and leg. Tap hand, tap toes. Inhale them up, then draw elbow to knee. Re-extend arm and leg, pause, bend your right knee, reach back with left hand, catch your foot. Kick into the palm. Breathe. Two more breaths. Gently release, yogis. Reground your left hand, draw your right knee to right tricep, lightly right foot outside of the right hand. Inhale your right arm up and twist. And take your right hand to the back of the head, draw that right elbow head back, spin the heart up. Tuck your back left toes, lift the back left knee, you're in that low lunge twist with this little exaggerated opening of the cup. Inhale your right arm back to your sky, exhale your right hand to your back. On your inhale, we're going to lengthen out the right leg and draw the hips back. We do this almost every class. Exhale to re-bend and tap your left knee today. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to re-bend, tap the knee. Last round, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, re-bend, tap the knee. On your next inhale, lengthen, right leg pyramid pose, hopping that left foot in, hands to hips, if that helps in the alignment. Drawing this right hip back, allowing left hip to draw forward. Drawing the navel in and rolling the shoulders down the back. And take the variations that suit you. You're here for three. Breathing here for two. And one. Draw the left hand down to your mat, yogis. Inhale your right arm up for a revolve triangle. Let's breathe. And slowly walk the hands to the outside of your left leg. And maybe for some of you, you spin the feet. It's a big crossing of the legs. Two more breaths. And gently release. Walk the hands back to the top of your mat. Plank pose, yogis, everyone's favorite. And today in our plank, all we're going to do is shift forward, shift back. Forward and back. This is the action we take when we take on our chaturangas, right? So we're just strengthening that midsection, tilting that tailbone under slightly. You're here for five. Breathing here for four. Breathing here for three. For two. And one from your plank, lower your knees. Chest and chin. Come forward to a baby cobra. Exhale the forehead to your mat. Tend the fingertips like baby claws on our wooden floor. Elbow points towards the ceiling. Today we're going to inhale the chest up and take some shoulder dips. So dip your right shoulder down to the mat. Inhale it back up. On the exhales, dip the left. Inhale it back up. Dip it to the right. Inhale it back up. Last round on your left. Dip it to your left, pause, finally maybe a little bit of a deeper baby cobra. Exhale the forehead down to your mouth. Tuck the toes, push your seat back to your feet, a nice tuck toe child's pose. And lift the hips, meeting back in our tabletop. 
From here, we're going to flip our palms, kind of get those fingers to point towards you. Now, if this is not comfortable on your forearms or wrists, bring your hands parallel. And then all we're going to do is find our cat-cow. So on that inhale, drop the belly to the ribcage, tilt tailbone up, gaze up. On the exhale, tilt the tailbone under, press into that. Feel that opening in the forearm. Inhale, to love it. Exhale to push off that back. Find your cat's leg. Two more. Inhale lower. Exhale to push off that mat. Find your cat's leg. Last round. Inhale lower. Exhale to push off that mat. Find your cat's leg. Coming back to a neutral back yogi's flat back. Flip your palms if they were turned. We're going to take that same little segment we did on the right side on the left. So extend the left leg to the back of the room, flex the foot, the toe points are down. Now we're going to tap the left toes to the mat, inhale them back up, then on the exhale, draw your left knee to your nose. Re-extend the leg, tap the toes, lift the leg, draw your left knee to your nose. Two more like this, tap the toes, lift the leg. Draw your left knee to your nose. Last round. Re-extend that leg. Tap the toes. Lift the leg. Draw your left knee to your nose. Re-extend the leg. This time, walk your right hand about three inches in front of you. Tap the left toes down to your mat. We're going to find that sequence now with the arms. So, inhale, lift the limbs. Exhale, draw that elbow to your knee. Re-extend arm and leg. Tap toe and hand. Inhale them back up. Draw elbow to knee. Re-extend. Two more. Tap. Lift. Draw elbow to knee. Re-extend. Last round. Tap. Lift. Draw elbow to knee. Re-extend. Pause. Bend the left knee. Reach back with right hand. Catch the foot. Kick into the pump. And try to point the left foot. Trying to make it pretty. Gently release, yogis. Keep the left leg lifted. Ground your right hand. Draw your left foot to the outside of the left hand. Inhale the left arm up and twist. Take that left hand to the base of the head, almost like acting like a pillow. Draw the left elbow head back. Now tuck your back right toes. Lift the back right knee. Inhale the left arm back to your sky. Exhale the left hand down to your mouth. On your inhale, lengthen your left leg, draw your hips back. Exhale to rebend both knees. So right, right knee will tap down. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale to rebend both knees. Last round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to rebend. Tap that right knee down. On your next inhale, lengthen the left leg, pyramid pose, hopping that right foot in, hands to hips, just to find that adjustment for yourself. Drawing that right hip back, allow the left hip to draw forward, roll the shoulders down your back. Really find the variation that suits you. Reaching out of those hips. Finding that ujjayi in and out of the nose. Gently release right hand to your mat yogis, and you can tap the fingertips, and you can also place them on a block if you have one. Inhale the left arm up and twist. Gently release, walk your hands to the outside of your left leg, and maybe you spin the feet onto their pinkies. I'll spin kind of the opposite way so you can see me. Gently release, walk your hands back to the top of your mat, plank pose. From your plank pose, yogis, we're just going to do a little bit of core work here. You know I love it. I'll shimmy back a bit so you can see me. Right hand, tap your left shoulder. Place your right hand back on the mat. Left hand taps right shoulder. Place your left hand back to the mat. Right, left, right, left, for five. Breathing here for four. Try to push off of the mat for three, for two, 
Add one, plank pose. Lower, chaturanga, elbows grace that rib cage. The inhales, pull the heart through to a nice up dog, maybe a baby cobra. The exhales, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Pedal out your knees, yogi, shift your hips a bit from side to side. You can shake your head yes, you can shake your head no. You can flutter your lips. You can make sighs, noises, sounds, anything not serving you. Right, this is your time. Hi to those who have joined. Morning house. Hi, Laura. Slowly, yogis. Begin to walk those feet to the top of your mat. Big toes will touch. Roll the shoulders away from those ears. Tilt the tailbone under slightly. Mountain pose. Sit out some. Inhale, arms rise, palm touch, gaze up, look up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale into a flat back to prepare. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to your high plank. Lower all the way to your belt. Inhale into a baby cobra. Maybe the hands hover off your mat. Exhale, the forehead to your mouth. Tuck the toes, push your seat back to your feet, a tuck toe child's pose. Lift the hips, downward facing down. Breathing here for three. In and out of the nose, Surya Namaskar A. We're just doing a few variations off the cheddar. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze sweetly in between the hands, a light step, maybe a hop or a handstand, top of that. Exhale, fold, let it go. Root to rise, reverse swan, add the arms all the way back up, draw your gaze up, look up, reach up. Exhale, arms to your side, Samas Titi. Let's do another round. Inhale, arms rise, palms touch, gaze up, look up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale into your flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, hop over, step lightly, shutter on the knees, chest, chin, or even Shalabhasana. The inhales, pull the heart through to an up dog, baby cobra. The exhales, lift your hips, downward facing up. Breathing here for three. Try to draw the gaze toward your navel, maybe even the upper thigh. Maybe those heels are reaching a little bit closer to your mat. Inhale, bending knees, gaze sweetly in between the hands where you gaze is where you go. A light step, maybe a hop, top and up. Exhale, fold, let it go. Root to rise, reverse swan, add the arms all the way back up. Draw your gaze and look up, reach up. Exhale, arms to your side, Samasthi to here. Inhale into a chair pose, Ulkatasana. Now I want everyone to dip your hips as low as you can, tap the floor. Inhale the arms up, keep the hips. Shift the weight back into the heels. You should be able to lift those gorgeous toes. Now extend the right arm back, left arm forward and twist. Breathe. Inhale the right arm back to center. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward, twist. Inhale the left arm back to center. Pause. Interlock your fingers. Turn the palms to the front of our room. Inhale the arms up. Draw your gaze up. Look up. Exhale, fold over legs. Interlock your grip right at the back of you, right in a big fist almost. Draw that fist forward. Lengthen out the arms. Shift the weight forward. Gently release, yogis. Inhale into a flat back, hands to shins or mouth. Exhale, plant the palms, shoot back, step back, shut around your knees, chest, chin. The inhales, pull the heart through. The exhales, lift the hips, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, down dog, split. Draw your right knee to your nose, hold. Lightly right foot in between the hands. Rise, high lunge. Open up warrior two. Flip the palm, tip it back, reverse it. Circle hands down to your mat, down dog split, right leg lifts. Roll forward to a three-legged plank. Chaturanga, the inhales pull the heart through. The exhales lift the hips, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, down dog split. Draw your left knee to your nose. Left foot in between the hands, rise, high lunge. Open up warrior two. Flip the palm, reverse the tip it back. 
Circle hands down your mat, down dog split, left leg loops. Roll forward to a three-legged plank, chaturanga. The inhales pull the heart through. The exhales lift the hips, downward facing dog. Breathe in here for three. In and out of the nose, breathe in here for two. And one, inhale, right leg lifts, down dog split. Bend that knee, open up that hip. Point the right knee up towards your ceiling. Try to keep those two shoulders in one line. And the aim here is to try to draw that left heel down towards your mat. So you feel that opening in the back of the left leg. Keep your right knee bent, yogis. Just draw your right knee to your nose. Down dog split. Draw your right knee, right tricep. Get it high up there and hold. Down dog split. Draw your right knee to your left tricep, pause, fold for three. Breathing here for two. Add one, down dog split. Draw your right knee to your nose, hold, lightly right foot in between the hands, rise, high lunge. Extend the right arm back, left arm forward and twist. Lift the left palm, tip it back, reverse it, gazes over your right shoulder. Breathe. Open up, warrior two. Right, widen the stance if you need to. I'm just gonna shift myself so you can see me. Allow the shoulders to draw down the back, engage those arms, center your torso. Can you sit a little bit deeper? Flip the palm, tip it back, reverse it. Then draw your right forearm to your thigh and extend the left arm over here. I'm just gonna hold here for a moment. From here, you're gonna take that left hand, draw it to the back of the head, draw that left elbow back, spin the heart up, breathe. This is what we want more of you. Inhale the left arm to your sky, flip the palm, reverse your warrior, tip it back. Lengthen the right leg, reverse the triangle. Find Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Reach, reach, reach. Right hand to a shin, a block, maybe toe lock. Left arm extends up. Stacking shoulders, lifting the kneecaps. Take left hand, half bind back. The left hand to your lower back or grabbing the inner right thigh. Spin the heart up. Breathe. Extend the right arm forward, hover, hold. Think less about it. Sometimes we overthink things. Flip the right palm, reverse your half bound triangle. Just feel that lengthening on that right side body. Bend the front right knee, reverse your half bound warrior. Then draw your right forearm to your thigh, extend the left arm over here. Flip the front palm, reverse your triangle, tip it back. A little bit of a dance, forearm to thigh, extend left arm over here, little Johnny Nash. Flip the front palm, reverse that triangle, tip it back. Last round, forearm draws the thigh, extend top arm over here. Flip the front palm, reverse your triangle, tip it back, breathe. Stay in reverse, just bend your front right knee. Reach forward, half moon pose, tip the weight forward, drag your back left leg up. Flex the foot. All right, take your passana if it suits you. Right, maybe you're playing with balance. Beginning to lift the right fingertips off of your mat, maybe hover for a few moments. If you're in Chakasana, kicking into the palm, open up the hips. Gently release, meeting in a warrior two yogis lightly. Flip the palm, tip it back, reverse it. Straighten your right leg, pivot the toes towards your side wall. Place hands onto hips, pivot your toes out, heels in, bend your knees, goddess pose. Wrapping right arm under left. How low can you sit? From here, yogis, lift your right heel off the mat. Maybe you lift the left knee at the heel and hover. You're here for five. Pulling the elbows away from the chest for four. Breathing here for three. For two. And one. Drop the heels, lengthen the legs. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold over legs. Pivot your hands back to your right foot, yogis. Bend the right knee, down dog split, right leg lifts. 
Roll forward to a three-legged plank, and just pulse your right leg for five. Breathing here for four. For three. Breathing here for two. Add one, keep your right leg lifted. Walk your hands back to your left foot. Standing split pose to the back of your mat. Now, if you want to play with your handstands, right, you have mat room here, so you can play with handstand hops. And maybe you want to just grab the calf of the left leg. Two more breaths. Gently release your right foot down to meet your left in a forward fold, your knees at the back end of your mat. Reverse swan head, the arms all the way back up. Palms touch at the top. Grab your left wrist with right hand. Pull the left arm towards the right side of the room. Slowly come back to center. Grab right with left. Pull your right arm towards the left side of the room. Slowly come back to center. You'll be swan back the arms all the way back down. Walk your hands forward. Plank pose. From your plank, chaturanga. The inhales pull the heart through. The exhales, lift the hips, downward facing them. Inhale, left leg lifts, down dog split, bend the knee, open that hip, point your left knee to the sky. Try to draw that torso a little bit closer to your right leg and try to aim to get that right heel a little more grounded on your mat. Keep the knee bent, just draw your left knee to your nose, hold. Down dog split. Draw your left knee, left tricep, hold, hover, breathe. Down dog split. Draw your left knee to your right tricep. You're holding here for three. Breathing here for two. And one. Down dog split. Draw your left knee to your nose and hold. Lightly left foot in between the hands. Rise. High lunge. Woo. Extend that left arm back, right arm forward and twist. Flip the front palm, tip it back, reverse it. Gaze over your left shoulder. How's everybody doing? Open up warrior two. Widening your stance if you need to. All right, make sure you're stacking that left knee over the ankle. Take advantage of the power pose. All right, if you're here, kind of just hanging out, we're not taking advantage of it. All right, let's try to be here. Draw the shoulders down your back. Gaze over that left middle finger, right? Your drishki, that focal point. Keep these legs, flip the palm, tip it back, reverse it. Then draw your left forearm to your thigh, extend the right arm over here. Right hand to the back of the head, draw that right elbow back. So that's spinning the heart up. This is what we do a lot when we're binding. This is spinning up the chest as we push the hips towards, in this case, the right side of the room. Inhale the right arm to your sky. Flip the left palm, tip it back, reverse your warrior. Lengthen that right, left leg, reach back. Now reach forward, triangle pose, Danasana. reach, reach. Left hand, shin block, toe block, right arm extends up. Take that half down grip, back of your right hand to your lower back, or possibly grabbing the inner left thigh. And again, we're spinning that heart up and we're rolling that right shoulder back. Think less about it. Extend the left arm forward. Hover, hold, breathe. Reverse your half bound triangle. Tip it back. Bend the left knee. Reverse that half bound warrior. Now let's take our little dance. Left forearm to your thigh. Extend the right arm over here. Flip the front palm. Reverse your triangle. Tip it back. Two more. Draw forearm to thigh. Extend top arm over here. Flip the front palm. Reverse your triangle. Last round, forearm draws the thighs and top arm over here. Flip the front palm, reverse your triangle. Bend the front left knee, half moon pose, reach forward. Lift your back right leg, drag it, drag it, drag it, flex the foot. Inhale your right arm to the sky. Take the variations that work for you. Right, as long as you're breathing. If you stop breathing, you may be going too far. How lightly can you find a nice warrior too? 
Lift up arm palm reversing. Lengthen the left leg, pivot the toes, hands onto your hips to start. Pivot your toes out, heels in, bend your knees, goddess pose. Wrapping left arm under right this time, pull the elbows away from the chest. Lift one heel, lift the other heel. This time it's a 10 count of Kalibati breath. Sharp pulses from the belly for five, four, three, two, one. Drop the heels, inhale the arms to the sky, pivot the toes, reach. Exhale, fold over those legs, let it go. Walk your hands back to your left foot, yogis. Down dog split, left leg loose. Roll forward to that three legged plank and just pulse your left leg for fun. Breathing here for four. Four, three. Breathing here for two. And one. Walk the hands back to your right leg, standing split to the back of your mat. Right, so now you have plenty of room in front of you. So if you want to take some handstand hops, you have your mat right there. If you want to go up against the wall, by all means. Otherwise, grabbing the calf with the aim to get that left leg just a little bit higher into the sky. It has a purpose. If you're working with something really meaningful, continue. Otherwise, draw that left foot down to meet your right. This time we're going to inhale to a chair pose, yogis, Utkasana. So you're at the back of your mat, not the end of the world. Draw your prayer to heart center. We're going to twist to the right. We're going to hook our left elbow on the outside of right thigh. Now, instead of drawing prayer today, I want you to take your right hand, make it a big fist. Press it into the left palm to pull the torso forward, reaching the crown of the head forward. Draw the belly in. Try to stack those elbows. Can you twist a little bit deeper? Gently release, inhale back to your chin. Opposite side, twist it to your left. I'm just gonna turn so you can see me. So your right tricep is guided to the outside of the left thigh. Take your left hand like a fist, press it into the open palm of your right hand. Three. Make sure you're drawing that belly in, right? The twist is really being found more from your thoracic back, a little bit from your lumbar, and less from your hips. Gently release, chair pose. Exhale, fold over legs. Walk your hands forward, yogis. Plank pose. Chaturanga if you love it. Meeting in a downward facing dog. Once and down dog, take a deep inhale, fill up. Open the mouth, H-A, ha. Drop your knees to your mat, a very brief child's pose. We all love a good child's pose. Turn your palms up to the ceiling. Just take a moment. From your child's pose, yogis, tuck your toes. Spring up to a plank pose. Lift your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, down dog split. Bend the knee, open that hip. So you have options if you want to, if you're dying to flip your dog, flip your dog. You're here for three. Breathing here for two. And one, draw your right knee to your nose, hold. Down dog slip. Draw your right knee to your nose, hold, figure four, down dog, right ankle in front of left thumb. With the aim here, right, to try to draw that right knee back. Now, this is this kind of what we've been building towards? Draw your right knee to your nose, hold. Now I want you to switch it over to your left and pause. Now you can take ball and triangle. If you're working towards the arm balance, put the left knee onto the left calf, right knee onto the right calf, and find your arm balance. You're here for five. 
Breathing here for four. For three. Breathing here for two. And one. Down dog split. Right leg lifts. Draw your right knee to your nose. Hold. Lightly right foot in between the hands. Open up warrior two. Breath and movement. Inhale. Lengthen right leg. Palms touch. Gaze and look up. Exhales to rebend it. Let it go. Two more. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhales to rebend. Last round. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhales to rebend. Flip the palm. Tip it back. Reverse it. Circle your hands down to your mat. Spin your left, right heel up. Inhale the arms up. High lunge. Draw your prayer to heart center to stabilize you. Inhale your left knee up into your chest. Arms extend up. Wrap your left arm under right. Left leg over right. Eagle pose. Taking sleeping eagle if it serves you. Gently release. Inhale the left knee back up into your chest. Arms extend up. Chair pose. Exhale, fold over legs. Hop your feet, hips width distance apart. Yogi, toe lock your big toes with your pointer middle finger right where those gorgeous flip flops go. Inhale to your flat back. Exhale, fold over legs. Gently release, yogis. Draw big toes to touch. Inhale back to your chair pose, Utkatasana. Draw your prayer to heart center. Twist to your right with the left elbow on the outside of right thigh. Now you can take that nice little fist variation. Right, if you want to fist your right hand, draw it into the left hand. Or if you want to try side pro, it's similar to the arm balance that you were taking from your down dog. Keep the knees bent. Draw your left tricep in front of your right thigh. Shift the weight forward. Find your crown. Little side crow fun. No reason to crochet at all fun. Slowly release, come back to center chair. We're going to do the same thing on the left side. Draw your prayer to heart center, twist to your left with your right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. And again, if you want to work on this twisting, right, and placing left fist into the open right palm to help drive that right elbow down just a little bit, get those hips low. And then maybe you ground the palms right outside of your left thigh. Shift the weight forward, bend the elbows back. Remember, chaturanga elbows. Place that body weight onto those elbows and triceps. Find your side crawl. Two more breaths. You're doing so good, guys. Slowly release chair pose. Exhale, fold over your legs. Just let it go. Inhaling to your flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, hop, jump, or step lightly, chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. We're meeting in a down dog. One more side, yogis, and we're on our backs. Inhale, left leg lifts, down dog, slip. Bend the knee, open the hip. Looping your dog if it serves you. Hold the rest in here. Two more breaths. If you're flipped, slowly come back to us. We're all going to draw our left knee to our nose. Hold. Down dog split. Draw your left knee to your nose. Hold. Figure four down dog. Left ankle in front of your right thigh. Draw your left knee to your nose and hold. Now switch it over to your right tricep. Pause. Now you want to get that knee kind of high up on that right tricep. 
begin to bend the elbows, shift the weight forward. Five more breaths to play. Down dog split, left leg lifts. Draw your left knee to your nose and hold. Lightly left foot in between the hands. Open up for your two. Breath and movement. Inhale, lengthen the left leg. Palm touch, gaze, and hook up. Exhale to rebend it. Let it go. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to rebend. Last round. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to rebend. Flip the palm. Tip it back. Reverse it. Circle hands down to your mat. Pause. Inhale the arms up. High lunge. Draw your prayer to heart center to stabilize you. Inhale your right knee up into your chest. Arms extend up. Wrap your right arm under left, right leg over left, eagle pose. Take the variations you took on side A. Try to draw that right hip back, the legs to climb forward. Keeping two knees on one line. Gently release. Inhale your right knee up into your chest. Chair pose. From your chair, slowly lower the hips, lower the hips, lower the hips. The boss make your both pose. Draw your hands behind the crown of your head. Come on to your lower back. Draw your right knee in, draw your left elbow to your right knee. Then switch. Switch, little bicycles. Switch for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Draw the knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Good job, guys. That was fun. Extend the legs to the sky, extend the arms to the sky. Addition, you were two year old having a massive temper tantrum. Just shake it out. Although recently I've been feeling a bit like a two year old having a temper tantrum, but so, this is pretty good. Gently release, draw the knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, a little citizen co plank. From here, let's take two rounds of back bends today. So bridge your wheel. And if you have one that you're working on, maybe to drop back. You have wall space foreseeably in wherever you are. So maybe you play with this idea of walking your hands back, right? If that's of absolutely no interest to you, which I get. Then bring your feet hips with distance apart. Grace those heels with your middle finger. Arms along your side body. Slowly tilt the tailbone under, lifting the sacrum lower and middle back, pressing into those feet and giving the glutes a tender little pinch. And from your bridge, unless you're in something else, continue. But for those in bridge, extend the right leg to your sky. And all we're going to do is dip the hips down to your mat, lift the hips, keep the right leg in the sky. Two more. Drop the left hip, lift it. Last round, drop it, lift it, pause, lower your right foot to your mat, bridge, lift the left leg, on your inhale, lower the hips, exhale, we rise, inhale, to so lower, exhale, rise, one more, inhale, lower, exhale, rise, pause, lower your left foot down to your mat, bridge, and then slowly lower up the middle, lower back, sacrum, Walk your feet mats with distance apart and tip-tap the knees. Now, if you're coming out of wheel, reminder to tuck the chin in first. Just protect the neck of your work, right, your cervical spine. And take one more round, yogi's choice. Okay. Maybe it's a supported bridge, right? Maybe there's a block behind the base of the sacrum there. Otherwise, finding the variation, right? I might, I think I'm going to shim my shoulders underneath, interlock my grip today, push my hips up. Mm. 
We'll take three breaths. slowly lower all the way down to your backs and walk those feet mats with distance apart tick tock the knees side to side nice little rocking Ready, slowly release, draw the knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, grabbing the pinky toe edge of your feet, find a nice happy baby pose. Welcome back guys, sorry Instagram Live is saying that there's too many Instagram Lives playing so they cut me. So happy baby, we're in happy baby now. From your happy baby yogis, wrap your right leg over your left, grab opposite ankles, find your golden kasana. So you came out of your back bends, you tick tock the knees, find a happy baby, and then wrap your right leg over left. You know, a little little drama in the in the Instagram world with a lot of live broadcasting so when you're ready release your ankles direct the knees to the left extend your gaze to the right Slowly come back to center, switching side, drop your left leg over right, grab opposite ankles. And again, a figure four feels better on your body, take figure four. That's always in a, a good modification for Gobukasana. Sometimes some can have very tight piriformis and IT bands, which is kind of necessary. Sometimes that inward rotation of the hip is uncomfortable. So if figure four is more comfortable, please take it. And then when you're ready, direct those knees to your right, extend the gaze to your left. And winding it all down the same way we began it. Slowly come back to center, happy baby pose. And from your happy baby, maybe you stay here, maybe you yogi toe lock the big toes and you extend the legs open nice and wide. I sometimes like to rock side to side when I do this. And then if the legs are wide and you have the toe lock, keep it, right? And maybe you take, keep this toe lock as you extend the legs over and find a nice drop. Finding shoulder stand for those that wish to take it. Maybe a head stand for some of you. And remember with your headstand, you're shooting energy up. So if you're feeling this forward weight, it means that your hips are not fully open, right? Which means that the legs are actually straight. So just keep that in mind. That's why someone's working with a flat wall. 
can help because you know the wall's back there, and if you touch it, it's no big deal. Nothing happens until you feel that in your body. Right? It's all sensational. And from your uh, shoulder stand, maybe you play with this idea of helicoptering the legs. I'll come demo it on my end here. Splitting the legs. And maybe make that journey to a nice cloud. And when you're ready, begin to pike the legs down. Maybe try to compress before you pike all the way down. Find a nice fish pose, whatever that looks like. And then when you're ready, slowly make your journey all the way down to your backs. Close the eyes. And find your Shavasana. And while in Shavasana, try to quiet the mind. I mean, I know there's a lot going on. It's easy for the mind to take control or think of seemingly take control, but truly we have control over our thoughts and we have control as to whether or not we choose to allow them in. And so just settling into a quiet space, meditative if you will, focusing your attention on the breath, the inhales and the exhales. When you're ready, Yogi, slowly begin to make that journey. Back to your awakened self, wiggling the fingers and the toes. And on the knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. And in your way and in your time this morning, making that final journey back to your rooted seat, your Sukhasana. And from your Sukhasana, okay, it's crossing of the shins, and closing the eyes, rooting the sits bones down into your mat, drawing that lower belly in, stacking your shoulders over your hips. And just pause in gratitude, bowing that chin down to your chest, to this body and all that it can do. Take a deep inhale, yogis, feel the belly rise. Open the mouth, H-A. <sighs> Drawing your prayer to heart center, bowing your head in gratitude to this practice and all that it gives us. Namaste, yogis. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay well, stay healthy, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye.